friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm doing a two looks, one palette and review on the Vivid Rose palette from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I just got this in the mail maybe a week and a half ago and I've already uploaded my first impressions and I will at some point also do an Instagram video. So if you wanna see additional looks, then check out that first video and stay tuned for my Instagram video. But I will be doing two extra looks today as well. This is what the inside looks like just in case you haven't seen it. It's a purple pinky dream, lots of mattes, three beautiful shimmers. We have different tones of kind of like neutral-esque shades in here. Like we have this neutrally pink, a couple kind of like mauve-y, taupey kind of purpley colors. They're very cute. I'm very excited about this palette. I really like the range in here. I think it's really pretty. I think even for it being just like a pink purple palette, I think it's pretty versatile. I have a lot of ideas for this palette and I don't know. I'm very content with it so far. I also like that if you look at this palette in like little quads, you have like little easy ways to create a really cute look. I don't know. I feel like the layout of this palette's really cute. I don't really have any major complaints. Maybe I wouldn't want both of these mauve taupes, but for the most part, I'm very happy with the selection that's in here. So yeah, in this video, I'm doing two looks. I will break down my thoughts as I'm creating the looks as always. And at the end of the video, I'll give you my thoughts on the palette. Spoiler alert, I am excited about it, but I will give you some very in-depth thoughts on the different shadows and formulas and stuff like that at the end of the video. I will give my jewelry details for each look as the look happens, by the way. So if you're curious about any of these details, just stay tuned because I will be talking about that. And I guess that's all I really have to say. Let's just move forward and create some looks. Hi, hello, how's it going? It's currently New Year's Eve. This is the last time I'm filming before the new year and that's wild, but I'm excited to do just a very bright, hot pink look today. I don't know why that's my vibe, but that's what I wanna do. This wig's gonna already drive me nuts, so let me go ahead and tuck it. Show my non-glued down wig secrets, of course. Um, jewelry details, before I forget, this choker is from Shop Sun & Co. You can use my affiliate code ButteBean for 10% off. These plugs are Love Kills Boutique. I don't know where these earrings are from. I've had them a very long time. It might be like a Charlotte Russe or something like that. Um, this wig is a Christmas brand wig. Check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. And I think that's all I have to say. So let's just hop into the look. I'm going to prime with the Urban Decay Primer Potion as usual. I'm blending it out and I'm not gonna set it because I don't like to do that. You do what works for you. And honestly, this is gonna be a very simple look, just a couple eyeshadows, but it's gonna be so bright and fun and I'm very excited. I haven't done just like a very bright, hot pink look in a very long time. So I just wanna start with Pop of Pink, which I did use as part of my blush today. I have a cream blush on, but I just had to put a little bit of it on my face. I couldn't resist. I'm taking that on this MOTD Cosmetics Build and Blend brush. It's just a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to fluff this all over through the crease, up towards the front of my brow, lower lash line. I just want a very blown out pink look. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I hope you're doing well, whatever you're doing. I'm okay, my uterus is attacking me on the last day of the year, but that's fine. <laughs> It is what it is. Oh, this pink makes me so happy. It's just such a happy color, isn't it? This particular shade. It's so cute. I love putting extra emphasis towards the front of my brow for just very blown out looks. I don't know. It gives it a kind of like a grungier vibe to have like a lot of color right here in this little nook. I used to be scared of it. I used to only leave that inner portion very light and bright, but... I don't know, I like putting color there now. I think it's cute. I'm gonna heavily smoke this in my outer corner of my lower lash line. Like I'm gonna drag it down almost towards like my highlight and blush, you know? Just want a very drapey, blown out look. Oh yes. All right, now let's take Pretty Peony right here. That's darker, but still like neon pink. I'm gonna take that on this e.l.f. tapered blending brush. And really this is gonna go in similar spots, just a little bit lower down, but I want it outer corner, a little bit through the crease. I want it on my lower lash line, the whole shebang. I'm actually gonna take this flat brush from Alomar so I can get very tight and close to my lower lash line in the outer corner. I don't wanna take this uh, darker hot pink all the way, I just want it in the outer half. So I'm gonna make that really tight right up against it and then pick up a little bit more of it on that e.l.f. brush and then go to town smoking it out. Oh my gosh, this is already so cute. I don't play with bright pinks enough. I should do it more, it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna take Pop of Pink again on that first fluffy brush and just again go to town on the outer edge of what I just laid down so that it can all be very flowy and blendy. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. I just love how intense it is. It's so cute. I love the way it makes my eye shape look. It's so fun. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush now that's clean. There's absolutely no product on it. And I'm just gonna go to town once more along these edges just to make sure it flows nice and softly. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it, I love it. All right, now for some shimmer. We're not doing a cut crease or anything like that. I simply just want shimmer smacked on my lid and blend it into everything else. This is an Alter Ego number four brush, just a really big fat packing brush and some NYX glitter glue, of course, because I love my glitter glue. Helps all of my shimmers pop. I'm just gonna stamp this across the lid. Nothing too precise. And now I'm gonna take Pink Rosé on that brush. I'm so excited to put this on the lid. I used this in my first impressions technically, but it was as my inner corner highlight. I haven't put it all over the lid yet. My goodness. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. I also like that the shimmer is almost like a rosé, like kind of shimmer. It's not just like neon pink shimmer. It just breaks up the palette a little bit more. Gives it some dimension, because this just looks so cool. I'm gonna take that little e.l.f. brush, no additional product, just to blend and smudge. Actually, you know, I will take a little bit of that darker pink, just to help blend and smudge out this shimmer. So it can all flow and a little more pop of pink to do the same thing. Ah, uh, yes, it's so pretty. I love it. Okay, for my inner corner highlight, I could just use that same shade. It would look cute, but I feel like using my face highlight, which is Cupcake Crush from Bitter Lace Beauty, one of the candy coated highlights. I hadn't played with these highlights in a hot minute on camera, at least. I use them before work pretty frequently, actually, when I don't have time to film. So they make a great eyeshadow highlight combo. I thought this would be a cute little inner corner, and it goes with my face highlight, so, you know. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, well, that's the look. I'm going to repeat this smokiness on the other eye, throw on my eye pencil, lashes, lips, all that good stuff, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, this is look number one. I think it's very fun. It's very bright, it's very loud, and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. I haven't worn this much pink on my face in a long time, and I love it. I feel like a little fairy. I'm obsessed with this. This was a lot of fun to do and very simple. It did not take a whole lot of effort, not a whole lot of crazy techniques, very fun. The pencil I paired with this is LA Girls Pop. It's a lip pencil technically, but I use these in my waterline. They don't irritate my eyes personally. I just wanted a nice bright hot pink. My lashes are from ColourPop. They're the Sweet Pea Lashes from this lash book. I just wanted something a little more small for this. I really wanted the eyeshadow to speak for itself. And then on my lips, I have this lip pencil from Musée Beauty. I don't know the name because it's not written on it, but it will be in the description box. It's the pink one. And my gloss is from ColourPop. It's the So Chilly Gloss from the ColourPop Hello Kitty collection. So yeah, very fun pink look. Very loud car outside my apartment. Um, let's just move on to look number two. Hello, how's it going? Um, let's film look number two. Today's the third. I think it's been a couple days since I filmed look number one. Did I film a video in between? I don't remember. I might have filmed another video in between. I feel like I'm just trying to catch up on things right now. Before we hop into it and I get too far ahead, um, this is also a Christmas brand wig. Check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. We have a CC brand beanie today. Love Kills Boutique plugs and Spooky Doodle Club earrings. You can't see my necklace right now, but you'll see it in the intro. Might be a Forever 21. It's quite old. And also my window's open, so if you hear sounds such as this motorcycle, that's why. <laughs> All right, let's prime with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and blend it out, and I'm not gonna set it and we're just gonna move on with our lives and create a really cute look. I wanna do a very like purpley, sultry kind of lid, and then I want a little bit of like pop of pink on the lower lash line. I think that'll be really cute. So I'm gonna start with this He Loves Me Not shade, this kind of boysenberry color. It's so pretty, one of my favorite colors in the whole palette. I'm gonna take this tapered blending brush. It's the e.l.f. J. Kissa J2 brush. And I'm gonna take that, and I'm just going to focus this kind of outer half of my lid and I'm gonna blend it a little bit through the crease but nothing too crazy and only about halfway through because I do want a little bit more of an elongated kind of shape today. I hope you're doing well. I probably already asked how you're doing in this video in look number one but it's a new day for me. I hope you're doing well. It's Sunday. I'm off today. I'm just doing some chores. Went on a run this morning and now I'm filming and that's about it. 
Might play some World of Warcraft later, and that'll be fun. Oh, I just love that color. It's such a beautiful shade. I'm gonna also take this Olimar brush and a little bit of that color and pop it right up against my lashes in the outer half of my eye. Do you hear this? People get stopped at the light all the time, blaring their music. Even if my window's shut, it's so loud. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to move. I can't wait to move. I'm just going to start kind of smoking this outer half of my lower lash line just so it can all be smudgy and, I don't know, well, just a little sultry today. That's what I'm feeling. Something kind of like that. I want it very just like this. I don't want it to be blown out all over my eye like crazy. I want it to be a little more strategic. Is that the right word? I'm gonna be more strategic with my placement is I guess what I meant to say. <laughs> I wanna take a little bit of flower power now, that slightly brighter purple. I'm gonna take that on this e.l.f. J. Kissa brush. It's the J3, it's a fluffy brush. And again, I do wanna keep this placement where it is. I just want this shade to help fluff and blend the edges. I'm using very light pressure holding the end of my brush so that I don't take this shadow all over the place too crazy want to keep it in its specific area. Now, just to help with the blending even more, I want to take this Talk Dirt To Me shade, I'm taking it on this fluffy Alter Ego number three brush, and again, keeping the shadows placed where I place them, I just want to very lightly dust this along the edges. Again, very light pressure, not going too crazy. I just want a very smoky, deep purple focused in my outer corner. And now I wanna start adding that pop of pink with pop of pink. I'm gonna take that on this MOTD Build and Blend brush. And I just want to pop this out here in the lower part of my outer lower lash line. I'm just gonna build this up slowly until I like it. I don't want it to be overwhelmingly pink down here. I just want a little pop of it. I think that'll just add a little bit of extra interest into this look. I think it'll be really cute. Plus I also just really, really like this shade in the palette, so I'm finding like every excuse I can to use it. You know, I'm actually gonna take the teeniest little bit and pop just a little right here. Nothing crazy, I just want like a little tiny kiss of it. Almost to where it's like, is there pink there, is there not? <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking, but. I'm thinking it'll be cute. I feel like in look number one, I was very like fairy-esque and in this look, I wanna be more like fairy turned enchantress. <laughs> I'm just taking some of my previous brushes just to help just blend some more. I don't have any additional product on any of these. I'm just kinda just having fun, taking my time, blending things out. Really liking the look of this though. Let's add some shadow to my lid so I can reassess. I wanna take Guns N' Roses and I want this shade all over the lid. I haven't given this one like a star moment yet because even in my first impressions, I used that as like my inner and outer corner of my halo eye. So it wasn't like the star of the show. I'm gonna take that on a little packing brush. This is a very old one. It doesn't even have a name anymore because it's so old. And some NYX glitter primer. And I just stamp that across the lid. Again, I'm not doing any cut creasy things with this look. I just want it to merge together. All right, Guns N' Roses, let's pop that atop my lid. Ooh, that's cute, that's cute, that's cute. Oh, I love purple eyeshadow, it's so pretty. Purples are so fun too, because there's literally so many different tones of purple, like they lean more violety blue, they lean more straight up like indigo, they lean more reddish, plummy-ish, pinkish. There's so many different variations of it. So I feel like if you're someone who doesn't like purple, maybe you just need to find your right tone of purple. I don't even know what my favorite tone is. I think I like more of the cool tone purples, like the violety, indigo-y, bluey kind of situations, but you know, just re-intensifying this outer pink a little bit. Ugh, I'm loving this. I think this is really pretty. I feel like it's just kind of fun and playful. It wasn't like a whole ton of crazy technique other than just being cautious of like where to put the like darker shade, but ooh, I like it. I don't know what I want for my inner corner. Maybe pedal to the metal. That could be a cute little pop. Let's do it, shall we? Just a nice little beacon of lavender glow. Oh, that's so cute. It's not a perfect highlighty shade on my pale skin, but you know what? I still like it. Might actually take that same cupcake crush that I used on my face and in look number one and top a little of this over that purple in my inner corner. 
So I feel like I just want a little bit more brightness. Yeah, that's nice, that's perfect. Okay, well, I'm gonna repeat this on the other eye, throw on my lashes, eye pencil, lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. Alrighty, this is the look complete. I feel so pretty in this look. I don't know which look I like better between look number one and look number two. It might be this one just because I really like the different tones playing together. I really like this look. The eye pencil I paired with this is Blackberry from NYX, just a nice deep purple. My lashes are those same Sweet Pea lashes from the ColourPop Lash Book. And on my lips, I have a little combo, of course. My lip pencil is Cool BFF from ColourPop, and then I topped it with the Most Gloss from Dose of Colors. So yeah, I like this look. I feel good. Um, let me zoom you out and I'll give you my thoughts on the palette. All right, welcome back. What did you think of those looks, those tutorials? Which look was your favorite? I really, really liked both, but I think I'm feeling this one. I feel just extra cute in this look. I don't know how to explain it, but I just really like it. Let's talk about the palette now. I love the packaging, first of all. I think it's beautiful. I think they did a good job. It's always very sleek, and I feel like the artwork always reflects the inside very nicely. I like that this palette has 10 shades. My previous palettes that are kind of this rectangle layout from them are only eight shades, and I kind of like the 10. I like my eight pan palettes from them as well, but I don't know. I feel like this is still very sleek and very cute, and I'm just really excited about it. As far as the three shimmers, I think they're all beautiful. These two in particular, are very extra blinding foil super special this one's a little bit more of like a muted shimmer like it's still really pretty and I feel like my lids still look very wet with the shadow all over it, but it's not quite as blinding as those two but I think all three of those shimmers are really pretty they're very buttery very creamy the two bright pink mattes are so freaking cute and I feel like even though they're both bright hot pink they are so vastly different in depth that I'm happy that both are in here because one gives me a lot more of like a darker bam hot pink and the other one's more of like a softer build it up but it's still like a very vibrant fun happy shade this is such a cute blush this actually also makes a cute blush I don't know if I mentioned that but spell the tea rose is very cute I don't think I used this one on camera but I did use this one as a quick eyeshadow look before work one of my days and it was cute I feel like there's nothing to write home about it it's a very nice just pale neutrally pink but it's cute it does the job I liked the way all the pinks perform though I didn't have any issues with patchiness with blending I felt like it all worked like a dream some of the easiest pinks I've ever worked with but I don't really have trouble with pinks in general. But these are borderline on the neon-ish side of things. But they work very well, especially for them being so bright, needless to say. We have the two taupey mauves. I think I've only used this one total so far. I actually don't think I've used the lighter one just yet, but I imagine it'll perform fine. But this one was fine enough. It did the job. It blends. Doesn't get patchy. I feel like, again, I don't feel like I want both of those in there. If I could change anything, I would probably switch out one of those shades for something else. But... Overall, I'm still content with them, like they perform fine, and I think a lot of people will enjoy those shades because I think those shades are what's going to make the palette more quote-unquote wearable for some people. I'm under the mindset that anything is wearable if you can wear it, but I know for a lot of people your comfort zone is a lot more neutral based than what mine is, so I know a lot of people are really going to get down with those. And then as far as the two purple mattes, I feel like with purples, especially very pigmented, vibrant purples like these two, you're going to have to spend a little bit more time blending than you would with like the neutrals or the pinks in this palette, but I still felt like they performed fine. I didn't have any major issues. I felt like I was able to work with them pretty easily. I did have to use a little bit more patience, but nothing like so extreme that I feel like I can complain about them. I feel like for being such saturated, vibrant, deep purples, they worked pretty well. I love this He Loves Me Not shade so much. I think it's beautiful. This shade is so cute. I really don't have any major complaints, guys. I don't know what to tell you. This is a nice palette. I'm happy I treated myself to it. I didn't buy much makeup last year. I plan to keep that trend this year. And this is one of the few palettes I purchased myself and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm happy that it's in my collection. I had fun with it. I feel very cute. I'm excited to film my Instagram video with it. And yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say. I would love to know your thoughts. Did you pick up that palette? Are you thinking about it? Have you tried Give Me Glow before? What do you think of my looks? I wanna hear all of your thoughts down below. Give Me Glow has one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow formulas. I get really excited when they come out with a palette. I don't buy everything from them like I used to, but when they have a color scheme that like really speaks to me, I'm always down to try it because they just have such a great formula. I don't know what to say. Their shimmers are so unreal. They're so foiled and beautiful. If you made it to the end of this video, I would love for you to leave me a flower emoji, specifically a rose because it is the Vivid Rose palette. And if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Please make sure you're staying informed with everything that's going on in the world. There will be links in my description box that will take you to information, resources, and ways in which you can help.
Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.